Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> lady, 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 why do you, why would you, so, a Adriana, yeah. why would you let him do that? <laughs> Come on down. So what it, he usually or often just does that and then it's out of his system? Uh, no, he is like all the way here. As soon as he sees people, then yeah. he doesn't know. That's no, what in he the does. car though. I know. I'm car. not talking about cars. I'm talking about right now. Uh, right now, he will get better because as, as soon as he gets used to the um, environment and the people. Uh, but that's the, his first reaction always. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> lady, 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 why do you, why would you, so, a Adriana, yeah. why would you let him do that? I have no idea how to, how to do it. That's why I'm here. I know, but like, <laughs> you, you, you let him do that to people? Go up no. to that? Well, then no. don't let him do it. That's, that's what I do. I just, I just, you know, try to calm him down, but I have no idea how to control I know, but you, well, the first thing is, don't let him go up to people and make them uncomfortable. No, that's true. Yeah. So that's not rocket science. That's I hold the leash short. Mm -hmm. That's you know what I'm saying. You don't let like even right here. You were standing here. He had a six foot leash to go around there, and I'm standing within five feet. Going, he could wander over here at any point. You have no recourse. I'm in within five feet. He's on a six foot leash. And so I watched, and then as he came over, he actually shortened it up. Then I was watching, because I don't think he's going to bite me. I just don't. But I'm still not terribly comfortable with the dog right in this region who just barked at me, just having free reign to go up to me. It's not a comfortable thing. You should not let him. Now, there's way more to it. I'm just talking about right now. Of course. And in life. That's, that's why I'm here. I you need, don't. I need to learn that. And uh, that's what I do all day, like short leash and try to, to control him um, on walks. I have him on the prong collar and he will obey. But my problem with him is this, what you just saw. Like he will, he's yeah. very um, reactive to people and I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, Dawson, can I have treats, please? Yes, treats. Treat. Right. He, 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 I can tell he's not, like, really a biter. He's not. But, he, I mean, he's a garter. He's also way under, like, socialized, like, you can, just with people. I mean, you can see it. He's just like, who the hell is this guy? Chico. Chico. I am a big fan. Oh, that's a good sitter. I'm a big fan of, uh, it's fine if he doesn't want it. Um, giving treats to, from the scary stimulus. Good boy. Oh, he likes it. Now, he's got to know it's from me. So, I, I, honestly, I just, I need to get good with him mm -hmm. by the end of today. Chico. So, however we're going to do that is fine. This is Chico, a 15-month-old giant schnauzer. These are German guarding dogs and they're pretty darn good at it actually. So you saw the incident up by that fence, right? That was a little bit my fault. That was a little bit Chico's fault. That was a little bit the owner's fault. I just didn't want him around that region that he was at. Okay. I don't want to get bit there. Now, generally, and, and, and then getting to know Chico and the rest of the session, which you're going to see, you're going to see a, actually a really good dog. Like a dog that holds himself back. You're going to even hear me say, Chico doesn't want to bite anybody. And it's all very true. She's had incidents where he jumps on people aggressively. 
he and like contractors he hates. You saw the thing with me. If I would have just stood there totally still, everything would have been fine. But I just didn't want him in that area because I don't want to get bit in that area. It's bad. It's bad. It's really bad news. Okay. So I flinched a little bit. I moved a little bit. Then he started barking. And then you saw me kind of get as like, I don't want to say mad, but as direct with a client as I usually get. I've been more direct than that. I've been way less direct than that. Because they don't, truth is, like, look at her getting pulled right now. Clients don't know what to do. And guys, this isn't the time to say she got the wrong breed. It, it doesn't, none of it matters. And you don't know why they, why they got a guarding breed. Okay, you don't know her life. You don't know the family's life. You don't know where they live. You know nothing. Okay, so this isn't the time to shame anybody. She is going to end up doing a board and train with Chico. Now, why, why a board and train and not a bunch of sessions? Chico needs more. Chico needs a lot. Chico needs, and you're going to hear me say it in this session, Chico needs to live life. He needs to play. He needs to swim. He needs to meet trainers at my facility, then be brought out for clients and get fed treats by these people, by clients and by trainers. Chico needs to live life. His life can't be the yard, the family, and walks, and the occasional play with dog. Right? That's why we focus a lot of this session on playing with dogs and meeting dogs. I want Chico to go home and be like, that was insane what I just did. I just went to this crazy dude's house, played with a bunch of dogs, and now those contractors don't seem like such a big deal anymore. Today was focused on big picture stuff, meeting dogs, and we condition a gentle leader with this dog as well because that's going to help her walking down the street, which is another problem. He's reactive on walks. All right. Like, I'm gonna post some other videos like this in the description. You are at your wit's end. I read all your information. You and your husband have different opinions. Yeah. Your dog is a little, a little too much with other dogs, which is our secondary problem, mm -hmm. but the people stuff is our first problem. The contractors, you've done the e-collar, you've done the prong call, you've done all this stuff. Yeah. I get it. I think that's what you're gonna say. And you don't know what to do. And the is, I had never had a dog. Yep, And I, I have that. no idea what to do. Okay. All right, my first, my first impression mm -hmm. is that this dog needs to be a dog. And what I mean by that is he's 15 months old, so he's still in this in a fear period. It ends at about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. He needs to desensitize and run and play in a field and play with dogs and do all that stuff. That's number one. Number two is that you need to learn what to do. Mm -hmm. In that situation up there, do we put him in a sit stay? And I realize that you don't know what to do. I was just kind of like the best thing would have been a shorter leash so he's not making people feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. okay? Um, good, good. Chico, come on. Good boy. And now he's much better with us, right? Much better. But on the leash, he's not, he's not great. Um, the second thing is that you have to uh, know what to do. Would have been, should you have done a sit stay up there? Should you have him to waited for him to kind of go close to me and then give him a little correction, tell him sit? Should you have waited till the bark to, to, to do you? I realized that you didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's walk. Let's walk so that he can just kind of cruise and he gets away from a 20 foot area with you. I also want you to shake my hand right now, say his name and shake my hand Chico? so that the giant schnauzer, which is a German guarding breed, <laughs> knows that you have accepted me into your life. It's very big, actually. Mm -hmm. Can we do it up there at a first meeting? Maybe not, we, we gotta figure it out. Okay. okay. If all we do today is get this dog playing with other dogs and out to the facility and me getting to know him and I don't think that's all we're gonna to get to do, but that it's still gonna be a win. It's gonna be good, okay. okay? And give you give you some very foundational stuff. The good news is he's he's just not. It's not terrible. He pooped. He peed. Chico, come on. You wanna explore? You gonna explore? You have a yard. I do. You go on walks. I yeah. Okay. Every day. Every day, mm -hmm. he barks at dogs on the walk, barks dogs at people. people. Yeah, a lot. And you're on the prong. Yep. Okay. Um, neighbor dog. Okay, let's go over here. We're gonna go up and we're gonna start the dog thing. Oh, there's Boss and Tina. 
Are those your friends? <gasps> Chico? No. Are those your friends? All right, he's gonna go meet my dog. Um, why do I care about dog play? I don't care about it that much, except I want to get like some stress out of this guy's life and out of his muscles, mm -hmm. like with exercise and mental stuff. I want him to be exposed to light. When dogs are like, they play with dogs and they come out here and do all this crazy stuff, they tend to go home and go, eh. I still bark at the contractors, but it's 50% less. Like I just did this crazy thing at this crazy house. And then they're just like, chiller. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually last. It can last weeks sometimes. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay. We, we got a lot to do. I want you to just put him on a leash right now. Okay. Just for a second while I move Prince to the pool. Good. No, you're doing great. You're doing fine. Chico. Put your hand down. Say, come. Come. Get down on the ground. Get down low. What do you mean? Chico, come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. You know. Come here right now. Come right now. Give him a correction. Bad boy. No, not Sit. bad boy. Sit. Sit. Leash on? Yeah. No, why not bad boy? It's something I can tell you say all the time. And it's almost said happily. Mm. Bad boy. It's like oh. when I talk to my five-year-old, I'm like, oh, you're such a tough guy. It's, you know, the, 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 the punishment, which we do need to actually punish 10 minutes of avoiding mom and thinking mom's a big joke and a big, it's all a big game is uh, a, like a leash pop or pop on the correction. Okay, go like 10 feet that way. Okay, you're gonna say, let him say hi to his friend down here through this fence. Okay, walk down here. Good. Oh, oh, Prince, 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 Prince. Don't do it. Oh, good, look at Chico. Oh, look at Prince. I like this. Oh my goodness, oh my. Is that your buddy, Chico? Is that your buddy, Chico? Oh, watch out, Chico. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'll take Chico's leash, please. I know Chico's my good boy. Chico's my good friend. Oh, Chico's my good friend. Chico's my good friend. You can have as many treats as you want. <gasps> Chico's my good friend. Um, Dawson, Carly. Will you open this gate? <gasps> you gonna meet your friend? Are you gonna meet your friend? All right, why don't you go like 10 feet that way? I think it's gonna go great. New person, Carly, he barks at. Just a little bark, I am ready. They both now realize that they're both unneutered. Okay, took a minute. Okay, guys, hey, 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 it's enough. Prince, Prince, chill, dude. You are the boss, I know. Everyone knows. Is that your, oh, is that your friend? Is that your friend? Are you guys buddies? Okay, I'm gonna let, for a limited time, let this happen. Prince, because 
it's good to see triggers. Chico was not like, get off me, dude. And that's great. <gasps> yes. You don't want a dominant dog with other dogs. Like, you don't, you know, your husband wants some people stuff. I know that. Like, you want him to be a, your husband wants to be, have a protection dog. Yeah. But you don't want a protection dog from other dogs. Dogs don't break in your house. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that is what you don't want. Um, it's the people stuff. He looks great. The problem is if we let him off, these two are going to get so rough. He dealt with it so good though. Okay, let's go, uh, um, Ridgebacks to the side, one of them. What do you think? Let's do Kiki. Kiki to the side. Okay, well, he's going to be another dog and another dog and another dog and another dog. You can have these. Sit. Prince. Sit. Oh, are you guys good buddies? Prince. He looks great with dogs. We got to get probably off this. Um, chain. You can see Kiki? You can see Kiki? Prince, leave it. Is that Kiki? Okay, let's let Kiki out, please. Okay, ridge back to the side. Ignore Kiki, please. Thank you. Oh, that's our good boy. We need to work on recall, too. Coming. Leave it. Lance. Prince, leave it. Go, go. Can you let Lance out? Yes. Lance, you can see your friend? Unneutered, Ridgeback. You guys, it's enough with the smelling. Okay, can we do Connery? Good boy, Lance. Lance is such a good boy. Come on. You guys, Lance, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You want to see Connery? Prince! See Connery? Will you let Connery out? Sure. Okay. Hey. 
So it's unneutered, 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 neutered. Good job ignoring everyone. All right, we're going to keep it at this. I'm going to let him off leash. Go, go. Ignore him, ignore everyone, okay? He looks good. Connery, chill. Let's put Connery away. His tail's just so stiff. Why do you think we're doing this? Uh, I don't know, she's getting used to other dogs coming down and getting yeah. him in his environment. Yeah, like get him used to other dogs yep. is kind of secondary. Honestly, I just want this guy to like live life and like be in a trippy situation and get smelled and have a dog. It's too much of the same would be my guess. Okay. Was there a growl? It went. I know. Okay, come on guys, let's go to the pool. You might get barked at, just stand tall. Oh, come on, hey! Come on, let's all go to the pool. You can come over here. Go or don't go? Good boy, Lance. Chico! All right, let's put these dogs away. I got a pretty good read on him, mm -hmm. okay? Not great. You drove an hour, not great. He's all pent up in the car. He gets out of the car, he barks at me. Not, didn't look good, but didn't look terrible. Like, he wasn't looking to bite, but it, there was like a backup in there. I've seen a lot of aggression and where they, you know they'll bite. Like, he doesn't want to bite anybody. Mm -hmm. It's protecting and you're, you and your husband to some degree have, you've wanted that. And when you want that, it tends to happen. It tends to be in, in them a little bit. Like, I know what mom and dad want. And that's what he was doing. Okay, then we came down, good with Allison, one less bark at Carly, the third person he met, then no bark at Dawson, although it's a lot of like just, I'm going to bark at you if you move, but I'm going to also just smell you up and down. It's like kind of not cool in my opinion. I'm going to do with you as I want, a, li a little bit of that, I'm going to smell this guy, but met dogs and was great with dogs, like good nature with dogs. So I, the main thing is like this dog um, living life. He's got, he's got to like get out more. Um, he needs a lot, that, that recall, we got to get that recall down. And we have to figure out whether we're using that collar, prong collar, e collar. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of work to do. Okay. For today, I think we should condition him to a gentle leader. Do you know what that is? No. You don't even see it, which is awesome. It's the it's the thing that goes over his nose. I don't use those, and I don't use prongs, and I don't use e collars. The gentle leader is the single best dog training and product ever invented. Mm -hmm. When he pulls, his whole head turns. It's really amazing. I don't know if your husband is gonna be into it. I don't know if you're gonna be into it, but it's the best. All right, so I'm gonna condition it. Then if we can get the reactivity on walks reduced 80% by a $20 product, you should be the happiest person in the world. 80% for a $20 product? Okay, <laughs> sign me up. Not thousands of dollars at a board and train?
Okay. Here's how, and then we'll see. He may hate it, and he may, and we may be a battle. Good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Chico, sit. That's our good boy. That's our good boy. That's our great boy. That's our great boy. Oh my goodness, you're, you're the sweetest boy in the whole world. You're the sweetest boy in the whole wide world. Treats, uh, will you grab them for me? They're right over there. Can't even see it, which is good. Thank you. Oh, you don't like it. That's the whole point, my friend. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna walk in a big boring circle out here and condition this thing. He's not gonna like it because when he pulls his whole head turns. Chico. Chico. Oh. Loose leash. Don't let him do this. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm old enough to remember non-power steering cars. Are you? This, we, we're going from non-power steering to power steering. He doesn't like it. We don't care. Good boy. That's our good boy. Uh-uh. That's our good boy. Come on. Okay. Why don't you walk around in a big circle? All you're gonna do is not let him paw at it. You're gonna tell him, just tell him good boy when he's being a good boy. Mm -hmm. Keep him on your left and walk around in a big boring circle. Uh, other left. Or you walk him on your right. Yeah, That's fine, walk on the right, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, good job, ooh, good. Oh, you walk, oh, okay, both sides. Pull him up a little bit, oh, and walk. Relax the leash a little. You want to give him a little more leash? A little less? Good. There you go. Perfect. Keep walking. Him stopping. You don't stop. Pull him up. Pull his head up. And then relax. Good job. That's all right. Can you feel a difference? I know he hasn't pulled yet, but. I do, normally he's pulling me now. Okay, all right. So, this product, they don't pay me. Mm -hmm. They should, but they don't. They give me nothing. This product, when the dog pulls or lunges or barks or anything, their head turns. This thing, the choke chain, sits way down here on this long neck dog. The prong sits higher. There's nothing that controls where he looks. This actually controls where he looks. Everything sits here. This is the only thing, this and a, what's called a halty. When, they're, when they pull or bark, their whole head turns. And they, it doesn't hurt, but they're basically like, I don't want that to happen. That's the only thing I don't want. I can deal with the pain of this and the whatever. This is what they don't want. Mm -hmm. It's really the best product out there. Okay, we still need to work on it. You still need to go home. You still need to buy one. You're gonna want a medium, black. Okay. Um, but this can help your walking tomorrow. Okay. And we have partly conditioned him to it. He's gonna regress when you get home, but you have to buy one and you have to use one. And then when you come back, if you come back, you're gonna be like, oh, it worked. Everything's down 50%. Lunging is down, pulling is down. Everything's down 20%. Everything's down 80%. You gotta have a report. If it's 80% or 50%, we're so, we're so excited. Okay. okay. If not, there's still a method of, of what I do when I pass dogs and whatnot. We're just not going to have time today. Okay. 
Now we got to get to the people stuff in your life. I think we just sit, stay. You're free. You're free. Yeah, go play. Go do whatever you want. Okay. Can people come over to your house that he doesn't know? He's always, uh, well, I'll tell you what I've done, because he, yeah. he will um, bark and people will get, you know, loud when they, when they get there, uh, saying hi to everyone. He will bark through all the, the con so what I do is I let him, I keep him on a um, leash, short leash, yep. let him smell a little bit, <coughs> put him on his um, crate. In his crate? In his crate, because I feel like he's, it's just too much for him to handle. Yeah. And then when he's calm, and by the time the people are kind of leaving, that's when I bring him out and let him play a little bit, and he's calmer yep. when when it's time for people to leave. But um, yeah, that's what I've come to. But the, when they, he first meets people, that's what he does. Yeah. And uh, I don't like that. You don't like it. Does your husband like it? No, he doesn't. But he um, he feels like it's uh, normal. It's what maybe. he's supposed to do because right. it's Alberta. Right, right, right. I wouldn't mind wariness and a bark and a hang by mom. But I don't. We don't want the out of control barking yeah. and scaring of people. Yeah. 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 And to tell you the truth, uh, that's exactly the the reason why I never had a dog. I I am afraid of dogs. Yeah, you said that. And um, and it got to a point where I'm with them like 90% of the time by myself. And yeah. uh, I just need help learning how to control, how to deal with that. Okay.